Hi, welcome to Robojax. In this video we are going to see how we can use this HAL effect sensor. This is used as a switch. It detects the magnetic field. So you can get the code for this by clicking at the link at the description or you can go directly to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. We are going to test this and after that we will dr uh, trigger some action based on detections. So this is a magnet. Now if I get the magnet closer here, it detects it. So based on proximity of a magnet, depending on the magnetic field, you can detect a position of an object that has a magnet attached to it or electromagnet. This is an electromagnet that has wiring and I'm applying the power to it. So this is 1.5 volts. This is now picking up this, so this is magnet. So if I get this one close to the HAL sensor, it will detect the magnetic field and based on the detection, again, you can do something. So either if we close, get to the proximity of a electromagnet or actual permanent magnet or even the magnet that you see on the speaker, all of them will have the same effect and it will detect it. So let's go through this, describing this, how you connect it and also I will provide you the code just a switch. This is based on this sensor, the HAL sensor that you see here, A344E, so which has three pins. So here is a data sheet for that. Actually this is the module that has three pins. So one is a power supply, then we have a ground and then the output. The output is uh, the collector of a transistor. So this one will detect from here the magnetic field and it has Schmidt trigger to um, straighten up the signal and just get clean switch signal to turn this on for us. Initially this module has a um, polarity protection and it can work between 4 to 4.5 to 24 volts but this module is prepared for 5 volts so we can connect 5 volts because the resistor and other component that is used here are based on 5 volts. So on this side we have VCC which is connected to 5 volts and then we have ground connected to the ground of um, Arduino and then DO is digital out and A0 is connected to analog out or this is AO analog out. On this side we don't have anything so here this is the power uh, uh, LED and this is the detect LED. This will detect when the when as when I detect uh, magnetic field, this will be turned on. But the data out, this DO which is here, this will go low, not high. So now let me connect the magnet again. As you can see, this will go on. But this pin, this light go, will go on, but this pin will go low. So we will detect low as. Uh, magnet and high as no detection. So let me explain the code. We set pin 2 as an input for the sensor and then pin 8 as an action when it detects it does something. So we are putting 8 as for the action and they, this is defined here. And then every time we need pin 2 we just put this one as pin 2. And then setup, which is here from here to here, we just set this one at 9600 baht for the serial printer to also print a text. This is also printing a text for us. In this line, we, we define as pen 2 as an input. So this is as if I type 2, that 2 is here. And then action 8, we set pen 8 as an output. And the setup is done. Then we come to the loop. The loop has will get it says digital read 2 so this is equal to 2 so it gets pin 2 and read the result here this is from the sensor the result will be stored here and then also we are getting as pin 0 analog which this is not reliable but you can use it so we are using this one then we say if detect is equal low remember we said that this module is 
when it detects the output pin will go DO will go low so which is connected to pin 2 here so we detect if the result is low so this is from here to here we do something so we do all of these three things first we say pin action which is 8 should be high so we can turn on a relay turn on a motor or whatever you want you can turn that on a light to say that the HAL have been effect, uh, detected so you can close a valve or something so this is all the, the application also if you want the text it sends it to the serial monitor and also we get this value that is detected will be displayed here to the serial monitor where we will de detect it if not detected which means action so if not low then else will be initialized and this means when there is nothing so if there is nothing this it says we say that action which is pin 8 to be low so there is no buzzer or alarm or anything and then also if you need you can print nothing and then we wait 200 milliseconds which is five times a second it will d do this and from here it comes back here the loop will continue doing the same thing as you can see it says nothing so that nothing is the result of this text it says nothing because the F it fails and then the else will run now let me try this magnet here so I have this magnet so when I get the magnet closed it says detected and then nothing and detected so depending on the strength of the magnet sometimes it can be at certain angle and it can work with further distance for example this one you see from this distance it can work or, I've, or I, if I can put it at a certain angle it might I might increase the distance detected so this was the magnet from a speaker I also got the other module that this is sold as a linear HAL effect it has another uh, HAL sensor but I was not able to make it work because the sensitivity that I set now it's already detected so if I decrease the sensitivity and, and even get closer any magnet it doesn't work so it's possible that this is damaged or it's a defective module but it didn't work but this light Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please post it at the comment below and ask any question that you have. Also, I welcome your comments. Please uh, subscribe and share this video. Please thumb it up. I appreciate it.